How to make a fire extinguisher. Okay. First, we need soap, vinegar, and we need one half cup of water and a cup of vinegar. A bottle, I use the ice bottles, and they're at Kroger, because they're longer and bigger, you know. Uh, ice bottle, and two pieces of toilet paper. Okay. First you would need this, which is uh, the piece of toilet paper. Then you're going to spread it down the middle like this. Okay. You actually know when it's pretty evened out. And, um, so you have this much, and you know, you should probably do this. Get it nice in one angle. And you don't want too much. You'll see why later. Okay. You fold it up. Pretty decent fold. And then you're going to take it, and you're going to do this. But, first of all, if you squish it too hard, it's going to rip and break. Because right here it has the two pieces where the toilet paper break like this. So you're going to have to kind of do this to it. Move it around in there. Hold on to the edges. And they have to be equally sided like this. If you hold it. So now you're doing this. You'll know when it's even. And um, then you kind of twist the top. And you put that aside for later. Then you take your cup. First, you should add your vinegar in, then water. Right here. You need, oh, I'm sorry. You need a cup of vinegar and a half cup of water. I'm going to put the cup of vinegar in right now. about this much, a little less than half the bottle, and then you're going to take your um, half cup of water, and you're going to put that in, right there. It's kind of hard to pour, so I always get it in wrong. Then you're going to have your teaspoon of soap, which I would use dish soap, and this makes it so it's all bubbly so when it comes out, it has more of a um, foamy way of getting out. Okay, then back to here with the vinegar. You're going to have a cap. So with the cap, you should probably make a hole in it, like a a hole in it, in it. Make it a pretty decent size so when you put it in it can come out easily because sometimes it gets stuck in there and it doesn't work very well. And you're just going to put it in here like this. You're going to have some stick out. When you get it in, which it's still going to be a bit tricky, you are going to place it over here. And we have space on here, so the baking powder and the cap, they can go on top of it and it doesn't just activate right away. Okay, so you're going to put it in there and why we kind of shook that up so it could fit in there, that's the reason why, because it's kind of hard. We're just going to put it in, and of course it's attached to, to the cap. Put it in and screw it on. And it falls. Okay. Then you do this, and it's in here, and then you just push it in, aim it at the... Okay. Then, you just push it in, which, because... Don't put, don't take too much out because it takes longer, which I just found out that mistake. You push it in, 
and then you shake it, name after target, and it makes this foam, which is very useful for fires. <laughs> so, that is how to make a fire extinguisher. Okay, I know that you guys actually want to see it with a real fire.